Oh. Hi, this is Flume. Recently, Flume released a new album called Hi, this is Flume, consisting of 17 mind bending tracks full of pads, vocals, trap beats, and mainly glitches. Today, we are going to reconstruct all of those things to figure out why Hi, this is Flume sounds this way. Granular synthesis. Granulation or granulator is being used to loop short segments of an audio file so that you can get infinitely long sound. This is really good for making pads and flume glitches. Why granular synthesis? Listen to this fragment. Do you hear these repetitions? For granular synthesis, repetitions are very characteristic. So if there is a, in a particular part of a song, if there's a hi-hat, it'll be repeated and will create this kind of effect. But before we... But before we get into that, we need the flume drum beat. I just recreated this drum pattern from this song called Is It Cold In The Water? But this is a remix. I was looking for samples in my sample library and on the splice as well. And I found that a Kalian crate has almost the same samples Every two bars, there's this kind of stomp thing. I just layered that with a kick. First hit in a drop or every two bars is harder than the rest of the kicks, and it just gives some cool dynamics to your drop. What software to use? If you're an Ableton user, there's a granulator too. It's just free. This is Max for Live device. Um, if you're not an Ableton user, there's a Paddy Shop and Quanta. These are paid versions, uh, I guess. I'm not sure if you're a Cubase user, you should have Pad Shop VST built in, but you can just wait. You can download this as trial version for 30 days. Yeah, 30 days trial is a lot. It's a lot of time, so I highly recommend this. <laughs> Take just a little piece of the song so that you can be more precise while automating the position of the granulator. Add a little bit of the spray so that the loop goes behind the loop region and you won't hear so much repetitions. So this is what I came up with after spending a couple of minutes writing automations. Now let's add my favorite Reese bass. If you listen closely, you may notice that 71 and 3 song might have been entirely made using granulator, and but as I said, might have been. There are probably other ways that you can make these sounds with. For drums, I found that decap drums that knock sound the most similar, uh, because they knock. To make the vocal from Jewel, you need the vocal ad-lib and some LFO volume automation. Flume uses a lot of random unexpected drop samples in his songs. I personally recommend doing a sound design sessions where you focus on only one thing. For example, you spend two hours on granular synthesis or chopping, stretching, pitching samples.
In for example wormhole song, you can hear that beat repeat is being engaged. I have the whole video on that topic if you want to check it out. Summary. Do sound design sessions. Use granular synthesis, chop, stretch, and pitch samples. Use beat repeat. Use drums that knock. Basically the drums that hit very hard. Layer sounds. Sound layering is very important and may give you really unexpected results. You can layer every sound with any another sound and you may be really surprised of the results. LFO volume automation. As you've seen, Flume used volume automation on vocals as well as probably on chords in the song MUD. Now the song MUD is a little more complicated. It's all about, I would say, sound layering, where you layer a bunch of sounds, but definitely there was a volume automation. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Also, you can visit my site oversample.us for some high quality and free as well samples and sounds. So, see ya in the next one.